Hi guys, Dotze here and welcome back to Deadly Premonition Director's Cut Edition. <laughs> it's a funny way of saying it. So in the previous episode, we were we didn't make it in time to save Becky. I think that's Anne's, Anna's sister. Now we're going to continue the story. Hopefully George doesn't go mess everything up for us. Chapter 11 <laughs> Previously during the investigation I'm Kaysen, Forrest Kaysen Thomas, did you see Nick here? I, 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 no I, uh, When I got here, he was already like this What are you doing? Get out of the way! I'll do it! George, stay back She's trying to speak good this time, Zach. Oh, I can't believe it, man. Now that's heavy. Me neither. When did Becky stop coming to work? I think it was like from the day Anna was killed, man. Yeah, 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 that's right. She was, she was totally depressed about something. Quint called for her to let us know she wasn't coming in for work. She must have been totally in shock, the poor thing. So you took the twins along to cheer her up. That's right, hon. If only I knew it would be like this, I'd have spent more time talking to her. You told me about a special secret between your children and Becky. Yes, of course. What about it? It seems Becky handed them an item before she was killed. Any idea what that might be? Now that you mention it, they had a box about this size, which they said was very important. That's it. I'd like to talk to them about this in person. Where are the boys now? They went out, actually, with Mr. Kaysen. They said they were going to visit Greenvale Forest Park today. They were going to take Willie for a walk, that dog of his. <laughs> Kaysen, do you know him well? Oh, yeah, he's a good guy. He always brings us gifts from his road trips. The kids love him, so we let him take them out every once in a while. <laughs> you know, for a little this quality kind of time with the missus. <laughs> okay, I understand, but the situation calls for urgency. I'll go and look for them myself, and if they come home without running into me, could you let us know? Sure, of course. I'll contact the department. Where is it? Where? Telegram. Uh uh. <laughs> Doesn't look like she's that old. Where could it be? Her dress. Oh, Sally. Sally. Anna's mother? <laughs> she's acting up again. She's been like that ever since she heard the news. What exactly is she doing? <sighs> Got no idea. But I guess she's in, like, you know, shock or something. The way I look at it, her daughter's death hasn't really sunk in the right way. Totally, man. I feel sorry for her. Come on, let's go. Lily, have you seen Anna's dress, dear? I can't find it anywhere. Zach, the wheels are turning, but not in the right way. You feel it, too? <sighs> Let's go give him a shave. Hmm, looks like I'm shaved, but he's not. Hmm. Isaac and Isaiah aren't here. They're apparently out with Kaysen. Let's go look for them. 
With Kaysen? Sounds like a long story. Any ideas where to start looking? Lily told me where they went. No problem. Why is it a long story? <laughs> okay. Let's get in the car. From 9 to 19. Oh, we still have plenty of time. So we got 7 hours. Okay. And today, we're stuck here having to search for lost children. They're not lost. We're the ones who are lost. And so we are, Emily. Zack, we may as well have fun if we're getting lost. You sure know how to take your time in a time like this. <laughs> fun where? Speaking in general? Speaking going somewhere? Oh, Milk Barn. What is she talking about with Emily? Not really sure what he means by have fun. But I guess with French, it's difficult to tell exactly. His idea of fun might not be my idea of fun. <laughs> Let's go chill at that red house. 80% of the I can't believe two people have been murdered in our town. And now two young children are at the center of it all. I just can't come to grips with it yet. Crime will happen wherever there are people. And that's why we have our jobs. It might be easier for you because you don't live here. These were people that's that I knew that were killed. And the murderer might be someone who lives here in this town. It's really depressing. I know. But someone has to bring this murder to justice. You're right, I know, but... Oh, Agent York, sometimes I just think I'm not really cut out to be a cop. Not true, Emily. You have the potential to be a superb law enforcer. Potential. You can be emotional at times, but you also possess what's most important. I do? What do you mean? What do you think? A sense of justice. Justice? <laughs> I must admit, I I'm surprised to hear such a... How should I say this? Such an I obvious mean? answer. I thought you'd say something else. Obvious or not, I joined the FBI in order to do what's right. And that's what's important. I understand, but still, you seem... Uh, I'm sorry. I, I need some time to think. Whatever do you want to think about? Justice. I want to think about justice. Zach, she's quite the philosopher, isn't she? Then again, death makes everyone a philosopher. You don't need to die to be a philosopher. <laughs> That's like a bad half joke. You don't need to. Oh, that, I wonder if that van is just similar looking. Okay, where can I go to my house? Uh, do I have to press this button in order to see the map itself? Oh, 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 oh. oh, like this? Yeah, this actually does help, but... There's like people here. How do I? Hmm. Oh well, I'll just go to where I'm supposed to. Like a good little pleb. To the left will be to the lumber yard, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why is it already 50% damaged? I'm thinking. Can you give me some space? 
Don't worry, I can look through the twins the at the same time. What's the point of pressing the E button then? I'm thinking. So why would it even give me the option of to say something to him? Such a funny way of doing it. Excuse me, cops coming through. But I'm gonna keep crossing the double lines. Yeah, he's gonna arrest me, eh? Okay? No one. Because I'm the police. No, I'm actually the FBI. Federal agents take care of the federal problems. Cops take care of the local problems, generally. But, hmm. Okay. see if this building is open. I want to see if I can like, chill there for a bit. See if I can get a shave or whatever. It's open. Hell yeah. Wait, if I leave here, will she be like, fine, then I'm leaving without you. Is she going to say that, I wonder? Or is she going to come out with me? Is Still there not? something you want to check out? Yes. Uh, well, either way, it doesn't matter. I can see you won't be rushed. I'm gonna go ahead, okay? See what I mean? It's like, what's way? Okay, why? that would be fine. Then There's I'll no head point. over to the place that Lily mentioned. Don't take too long before you catch up, okay? Sure, no problem. <laughs> like, well, where is she rushing off to anyway? Like how you can just, like, call to someone? Hello, is anyone in? I have no idea whose place this is. Oh, what the heck is this guy's place? Hello, Jim. Jimbo. <laughs> You're even alone today? That's right. You're looking for the boys? Kason's taking them around at the moment. Their mother should know them. Or, uh, or what did he say? Okay, then I'll ask her. Um... Churios. Ha. Okay, how about a shave? I'm gonna shave at somebody's house. No, I don't want to go outside. Really? His house isn't that big? Dude, now loading screens. I hate loading screens. I hope all future games stop having loading screens when you go to a new zone. That'll be the day. I'm not a chicken, you're a turkey. <laughs> oh wait, that was from Kazam the film, I think. Uh, huh. I can't shave in somebody else's house. What injustice. Come on dude, let me shave. Can I watch TV? Uh. Looks like He's an avid reader too. His books include Nature and Man and Living with the Forest. Yeah, forest lover. Probably shouldn't try to get in here. Not allowed to just rush into people's houses. That's cruel. Country ham will satisfy your moderate <coughs> amount of your hungry. Country ham. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and now suddenly the. Oh, here it is. What the fuck? What, how did it move here all of a sudden? <coughs> Meh. I guess you can't do anything yet. I have to finish the mission first, then I'll go home. It's kind of ridiculous how you can change your clothes but not shower. It's kind of like, wait, what? <laughs> so that's how easy it is. All I have to do is change my clothes and I won't smell anymore. Who would have, would have thought? It didn't work during the Middle Ages, or the Dark Ages, why would it work now? Hm. So, Zach, this case turned into a multiple homicide. As naturally what kind would, of motives turn a criminal into a serial go. killer? Is it hedonistic? Ritualistic? Copycat crime? Sex-related? Cannibalistic? 
from the Bureau's statistics. These interesting ideas don't always really explain the real motive. They're just words. Phrases that the media uses to scare citizens. The spotlight falls on a mere 1% of all cases. Only the weird ones. You understand all this, right, Zach? No matter how bizarre a crime may appear to be, at the root, there is always rage and personal interest. Right? Oh, what the hell? I didn't want to go through. Here. Let's continue oh, our chat later. I, I thought I wouldn't only when I enter the green zone. Rage and personal interest, eh? Agent York, I found Isaac and Isaiah. They're over there. Let's go. Hello again, Isaac and Isaiah. <coughs> I hear you're teaching Willie to do tricks. What's your secret? It's easy. Really simple. If he does it right, we give him a treat. A cookie if he does it right. I see. Very clever. So, tell me, you two. Could you perhaps tell me another special secret with Becky? No, we can't. It won't be a secret if we tell. Uh, I'm not telling. We promised Becky. Well, that's a problem. Because I also made a promise to Becky. I promised to catch the bad man. But I can't keep my promise if I don't know what the secret is. Do you see? Guys trying to hassle us, eh? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, man. We gotta do something about this. All right, we figure she it out. She told us to give Diane a box. It wasn't that heavy. We took it to the art gallery and gave it to Diane. Is that all Becky gave you? Um, just when we were leaving to take the box to Diane, Becky called us back. She handed us something. It was small and round. She told us to keep it safe in our pocket and give it to Diane. And then you met Carol on your way? Yep. I took the round thing out of my pocket and we looked at it. And then she talked to us. We told her that we were on an errand for Becky. She said she'd do it for us. But we told her no, because Becky asked us, not her. We promised Becky to do it ourselves. So Becky did entrust the locket to them. And now Carol has it. Right, Kason? Huh? You were in the room when Carol took the locket back from Diane. I saw you with Diane at the art gallery that day. Well, yeah, I, 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 I was there in the room, but, but I was only chatting with Diane. Oh, then Carol burst in all angry looking. While Carol and Diane had their talk, I, I just sat there like a frog. <laughs> yeah, so Carol took the locket from Diane, but that has nothing to do with me, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. But from this instant, you are now a key witness in this case. I'm afraid you can't leave town until you hear from me. What? Can you do that? This is all starting to sound a little like Alice in Wonderland. Which makes you... Humpty Dumpty. Huh? huh? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Isaac and I. Try not to fall and break your fall. I think I'll be able to keep my promise with Becky thanks to you two. How is Becky? Is she getting better? She'll come and help out at our store again, won't she? Yep, in the afterlife. She'll come and play with us again, won't she? Mm -hmm. Boys, about Becky. Uh, that's right. Um. Becky is almost totally better now. What's but the point of lying to them? They're still going to find out sooner or later. I then they will Becky stop trusting you secret. and be pissed but off at you for not telling them the truth. She's a goddess of the forest, just oh, like really? Anna. I think she's going to be in the forest with Anna for a while. Cool. We'll keep this a secret then, too. Wow. That's why Anna and Becky are such good friends. The hell, I thought they were sisters. Okay, okay, Willie. Is that Willie? Diane? That's his sister. Wait, what? You're happy too, aren't you? I guess it wasn't. It was yeah, I hope Emily doesn't end up as a forest goddess too. Huh? 
It's always better to tell the truth to kids, because one day they're going to be pissed off when they find out the truth either way. Okay then, Zack. Let's go over what we found out recently about the and case. it's not good for anyone to hide and pretend that everything's First, fine. Diane, the owner of the art gallery. She was out <laughs> drinking with Nick Cormack in a bar on the night Anna died. Nick confirmed this, and so she has an alibi. But then we have what Nick's wife Olivia told us. According to Olivia, Nick and Diane not only went to the bar, but also went somewhere else that night. Do you remember where that was, Zach? Was it the art gallery, you mean? That's right. The art gallery. Before right. entering the gallery, Diane looked back towards Olivia. Almost as though she saw Olivia in the dark. Nick's behavior has also become more suspicious by the day. And if Olivia is correct, then he is heavily involved in this case. But we have no conclusive evidence of that at the moment. The only thing we can say for sure is that Nick's whereabouts are unknown at the time of Becky's murder. He has no alibi for the crime. But that fact alone means nothing. So who was it that called Thomas to report trouble at Becky's place? It was us all along. Yeah, I don't remember this part actually. Who actually did it? If his whereabouts are unknown, I don't actually remember. No, you're wrong, Zach. Now who was it that contacted Thomas at the sheriff's office? Was it really Quint? I don't actually remember. That's right. It was Quint, Becky's boyfriend. He went to her house and saw the tragedy. Now, about Becky's murder. I'm embarrassed and mortified. Killer struck again while we were on the case. We found her bitten off tongue. A massive amount of red seeds that poured out with the blood. Then an inverted peace symbol, like the one seen at the site of Anna's murder. From the similarities, one can deduce that Anna's killer killed Becky. We also found one other important piece of evidence in Becky's room. Can you remember what that was, Zach? Yeah, the red stuff, whatever you call it. No, no, wait. There was a sketchbook, definitely. That's right. We found a sketchbook in uh, Becky's room. I only said Nick because I'm like, oh. She had apparently written a letter to her sister Wait. Diane. He could have. It revealed that Becky took a locket from Anna's body at the crime scene. She also admitted to borrowing a pair of Diane's stiletto heel shoes. So Miss Stiletto Heels was Becky. There was something else at the end of the letter. It said that she handed the locket and stiletto heel shoes to someone. Do you remember who, Zach? Wasn't it to the boys? That's right, Zach. And from what Isaac and Isaiah told us, Carol offered to take the items to Diane, but the twins refused. They gave them to Diane themselves, as they had promised. For I some only reason, said Carol they wanted Nick the locket. Was at the house she ended up storming and then he into the gallery to take it from Diane. I don't remember if he actually called though. And when Carol took the locket really from Diane, Casey just happened to be there. Is Casey involved in this? Or was he just there by coincidence? I wonder what's so special about the locket, too. Why did Carol want it so badly? The questions are mounting. Come to think of it. Quint, the first witness, has no alibi for Becky's death. We checked the phone records and his call definitely came from her house. Is it possible he attacked Becky and then called us from the scene? But everyone is suspicious one way or another. What should we do next, Zach? Okay, who's the most suspicious? Either Nick or Diane. 
That's right. Becky's sister and Carol's enemy, linked to both Nick and Kaysen, the oh, so elegant owner okay, of the art gallery. Zach, that's our next move. We'll start with Diane. So, you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? That's right. There's just too many things that we don't know. First, we need more intel about the relationship between Nick and Diane. How? Nick and Diane meet every night at the bar. Let's use that. George, we'll need you to stake out the gallery. What do you mean? Wait in the parking lot of the art gallery and tail Diane when she leaves. If she goes anywhere other than the bar, you let me know. Emily, you take the diner. Wait for Nick and tail him to the bar, too. As with George, if he goes anywhere else, then you let me know. Okay. Thomas, you keep a watch on them inside the bar. Y yes, yes, I will. I'll be waiting in the parking lot of the bar. Once Nick and Diane are together, I will follow them wherever they go. What time do they usually show up, Thomas? Around the same time. Usually between 22 and 2300. Then at that time we do it, boys and girls. Zach, we need to be at Carol's bar at 2200. Looks like we have some time to kill. We can go to the diner and see how Nick and Olivia are doing. Well, let's go to the diner then. Yeah, we don't have that much time. But I knew it. It's 8.30, I have to be there by 10. So just an hour and a half. I don't know why, for some reason, I was one of those people who bothered to learn the empirical and the metric system. Was it empirical? No, it was it. And also military or standard time. It's just something that just comes naturally, I guess. Zach, picking up from where we left off, so Zach, this case turned into a multiple homicide. What kind of motives turn a criminal into a serial killer? Is it hedonistic? Ritualistic? Copycat oh, right. crime? Sex-related? Cannibalistic? From the Bureau's statistics. These interesting ideas don't always really explain the real motive. They're just words phrases that the media uses to scare citizens. Oh, this place the spotlight is open. falls on a mere 1% of all cases. Only the weird ones. <laughs> you understand all this, right, Zach? No matter how bizarre a crime may appear to be, at the root, there is always rage and personal interest. Right, Zach? Most people simply don't kill for pleasure. But that kind of common sense never applies to our investigations. Maybe we're lucky. Maybe it's because you're unlucky, video game. depending on how you look at it. We end up working on those cases in that 1%. Do you remember, Zach? The first case we handled just after becoming a special agent? Now let's talk about this another time. I don't feel Good like idea. it right now. Good idea. Let's, let's get out. I want to go into the bar. This is a bar, and then I'm gonna go to the green, where the arrow is. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We need to be at Carol's bar at 2200. Dude, you don't need to We're always say... We're free until then. You need to always... Should I try to get... Probably should... Excuse me? So I can get in from here? 
boom, just runs in there like a boss. Oh, oh, he, oh, he is in here. What the heck? I just want to see what he's doing. You know that thing tonight? It's supposed to be in here. Drink one. <laughs> you drink it. That's it. No, no more. What if I try to talk to her? Carol's always here. How exactly do you figure if they're not involved? Also, there's no point in actually being there. Boop, 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 boop. I wonder if I try to go there with by running. <coughs> Zack, looks like we still have some time to kill. Let's pass the time elsewhere. You can play hopscotch on the sidewalk. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did it seriously crash? Excuse me? What the hell just happened? Dude. What the hell was that? We still have some time to kill. Oh, yeah, sure, no problem. The fuck? What a load of crap. And it just randomly crashes. It didn't even freeze or anything, it just crashed. <sighs> Don't tell me I'm gonna have to restart the computer again before I can Nah that's not that's not acceptable. That is highly unacceptable. Previously during the investigation. No more previouses. Ugh, I hope they're not gonna do the whole talking thing again. Just let's just head straight to that place. If it crashes, I'm gonna have to restart the computer, which isn't fun. Done some damage, <laughs> mostly to the car. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We need to be at Carol's bar at twenty-two hundred. We're free until then. Exactly. Let's let's have a smoke. <sighs> what a crazy game where I actually have to smoke to pass time. Something I don't even do in real life. Hmm. Perfect. Now let's do the saving. And then I'm gonna go straight to where I'm supposed to go. I can actually run where I'm supposed to go. How many meters is it? 353 yards. Here. You're supposed 
supposed to let me through, not the other way around. Zack, picking up from where we left off, so Zack, this case turned into a multiple homicide. He's gonna, he's gonna re say the same What kind of motives turn a criminal into a serial killer? Oh, Zack, we're here. Let's continue our chat later. Perfect. I wish he didn't start the same stuff. Oh, she just runs here. Kinda of funny. Let's do this. Nick's still in the bar. Just as we planned then. I wonder what happens next. Agent York, you're really enjoying this, aren't you? I have to admit, I envy that. leaving the bar. What about Diane? She isn't here tonight. Emily, check that with George. George, George can you hear me? No Nick's leaving the bar. What's happening with Diane? No movement. Tell me what to do here. Stay put, George. I'm thinking Nick will head to the gallery. Let's meet up there. 10-4. Copy that. Or maybe they're like, okay, there's an agent here. We probably shouldn't do this thing we always do. Agent York, it's Nick. Oh, Nick is like, uh... Going nowhere, Nick. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's go. Okay. Warrior. Time Warrior. to play with the big boys, Nick. Am I supposed to like... Let's see where he goes. Is this one of those don't get too close or he's gonna suspect things game? I mean, what missions? Oh, that's supposed to do that? I think you noticed us. How can you stay calm at a time like this? We've just failed. No need to worry. Nick will do this all again tomorrow night. How can you be so sure? What the hell? I couldn't even... If he breaks his daily pattern just because he saw us tonight, then that would mean he's up to no good. We can question him then. He'll be at the bar. I'll bet dinner on him. You sound very confident. All right then, we'll try again tomorrow. I'll let George know that we're trying again tomorrow. So, we have to do all this again tomorrow? That's right. Looks like Nick gets to play with the big boys for another day. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Just one little mistake in there. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna get have a shave and sleep the entire effing day. We're not gonna do that shit again. And where is the car? Here it goes. Oh boy. I think the pink thing is my house. not gonna do anything all day except that except just sleep Zach picking up from where we left off so Zach this case turned into a multiple homicide what kind of motives turn a criminal into a serial killer is it hedonistic ritualistic copycat crime sex related cannibalistic from the bureau's statistics these interesting ideas don't always really explain the real motive. They're just words, 
phrases that the media uses to scare citizens. The spotlight falls on a mere 1% of all cases. Only the weird ones. You understand all this, right, Zach? No matter how bizarre a crime may appear to be, at the root, there is always rage and personal interest. Right, Zach? Most people simply don't kill for pleasure. But that kind of common sense never applies to our investigations. Maybe we're lucky. Or unlucky, depending on how you look at it. We end up working on those cases in that 1%. Do you remember, Zach, the first case we handled just after becoming a special agent? Now let's talk about this another time. I don't feel like it right now. Let's go into the house, get a shave, have a good night's rest. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We need yes. to be at Carol's bar at 22. Oh my god, you don't need to say We're that. We're free until then. Entire day. Dude, please. Let's not get retarded here. Okay. Get it started or get it retarded? Wait, what was that song? Isn't it by. Black Eyed Peas or, or Outcast? Oh wait, I'm not sure what I'm talking about. I kinda am, just not fully. Okay, let's have a shave. Jeez, this guy shaves without water and <laughs> so a foam shaving cream. What a badass. And with the actual razor blade. That's not an easy thing to do, I can tell you that from effect. It's very easy to scratch out your skin accidentally. This guy just goes full out. sleep 12 and 12 mm. no 12 and uh. I'm starving that's what he's gonna say Another eight hours now, <sighs> or nine hours. <sighs> and what time is it anyway? Let's switch. Pups and crackers, and we're done. Now let's get out of here. Let's see how much time we have. Probably like two hours left, or an hour. An hour and a half, too. I'm not sure. We're about to find out. Two hours, okay. Okay. What the heck? 
police. This is an emergency. Gives me a police car. Thank you. Thank you very much. ago was it now that multiple homicide of young girls in that college town in Illinois all the victims were cut open from the throat to the crotch ripped right open during the autopsy a second stomach was found inside the first victim's body of course she didn't naturally grow a second stomach one of the stomachs belonged to someone else as more victims piled up, there was one with two hearts, one with two livers, four lungs. Different organs each time. Of course, those extra organs didn't do the girls much good. Right, Zach? And they say too much is never enough. In the end, we arrested a professor at the med school. They found the body of his daughter dead and the missing organs at his house. Do you remember what he said when we took him in? I was ordered to restore those deformed bodies back to normal. And remember who he said ordered him? An alien. Well, of course, we couldn't arrest an alien, so we arrested the professor instead. <laughs> Serial killers can't be caught by logic and common sense. I learned this the hard way. That first case taught me that. Since then, these cases just keep getting more and more complicated. It's a tough job. I thought getting experience while I was young would make the job easier. Is he going to say anything else? All it does is create more problems that need to be solved, right, Francis? The more experience you become, the more stuff that needs to be done. It's always like that. N nothing is ever enough. Okay. Let's have a smoke. Again. This is such a good inspiration for people. What if I come there without <laughs> without a car? I wonder what they're gonna say. It's okay, if, if not I can just reload. Oh, that's fine. Ah. Yes, let's just continue on. Okay, so Fifty yards is in the in the blue. If it's fifty he won't see us. Oh now he's turning what the hell? Last time he went the other way. Dude, what are you doing? Yeah. 
still gonna go to the art gallery? Is that where we're going? And how far is the art gallery? Let's see. From here, I mean. Hmm. He's over here, in front of us. I don't remember where the art gallery was. Was it over here? Uh, it seems like too far. It seems like way too far. If I press shift, will he be able to see us? Oh shit. Okay, so he's too far, it's like this. So in the yellow, it's not good. But anything less than that is fine. I mean, anything in the blue is fine. driver the first driver game all those driving missions are kind of fun although that game is actually pretty challenging I do remember that well, the driving there is better than here I guess That car in front of Nick is going to make everything slower, isn't it? Jeez, these guys are like going barely. You're like on the freeway, what are you doing? You should be going the road or freeway, I forgot what it's called. You should be going... Okay, I see 60 miles per hour at least. They're going like 20 miles per hour, what is this even? Not even 20.
<laughs> he can't tell that it's this far away that I turned this stuff on. <laughs> yes. I thought that's what got me caught last time, but it's because I was too close. I don't know what the heck the limit means. How come the limit is just all in gray? That was crazy. Mm, almost there. Couple hundred, several hundred to go. Oof. Okay. This is why it helps to have one of those buttons where if you hold it at a certain, instead of pressing it completely, it stays on one speed. But like this, you have to keep, you press it and let go, you press it, let go, you can't just casually. Because if you kind of hold it even a little bit, it'll just press all the way down. That's what I mean. Jeez, it's already 23, man. Guys, nice. I actually made it. <laughs> There's no way it would be like this if we were only going less than 20 miles per hour. We'd all have halos by now if I was driving. <laughs> I think someone's putting a curse on all the cars I drive recently. <laughs> Agent York, Nick's getting away. Don't worry, time to get serious. Hold on, you two, this might get bumpy. Fine, we already know he's going to the gallery. Is Nick here? George? No, he hasn't showed up here. What about Diane? Any movement? No action here at all. Did something happen? Yes, a so little. He wasn't going to the... But George, something's different about you. Are you okay? Actually, I had a little drink while I was waiting. This is my first murder case, after all. I'm on edge, and I needed one. It was only a little, though. I'm still in control. Yeah, perfect time to be drinking. Mm. 
Zach. Nick and Diane are probably both inside. But where's the cars? George, you're sure you didn't see Nick? Positive. I haven't taken my eyes from the entrance all night. Not that I don't trust you, George. But I'm positive Nick is here. Is there another entrance? Not that I know of. Well, I'll go look for one. Help me out if you can, would you? Yes. Well. <laughs> ah, it's closed. Oh, oh fudge. Okay, time to save. What the crap is going on? Like another dimension or something? Up here tonight. Something's not right with this. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you probably tomorrow. Bye. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. it's not the right button.